What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's Sunday morning here in Toronto, really quiet day, peaceful, everyone's sleeping off their, their events from last night. Little Bentley Boo's just kinda chilling there. All right, nice and quiet, it's calling for a little bit of rain. We're gonna take the AMG out this morning for a nice joy ride and uh, Starbucks coffee run. All right, so let's jump into the twin turbo V8 and uh, go for a little rip. Excited, excited. Love pushing this car when it's quiet out, when there's no traffic. God, because when there is traffic, it's so brutal. Driving any fast car when there's traffic is a pain in the butt. Roads are quiet. Hopefully the cops aren't out. We're gonna have a good time. There she is, sitting in all her glory. Had it all cleaned. Just had the calipers finished on it. I shouldn't say the calipers, just had new brake pads put on it so it's stopping power is good. I don't know what it is about these cars, but they squeal, the brakes squeal no matter what. Even if you just had the brakes done, literally just did the brakes. Uh, check out my, uh, my Instagram, check out my YouTube shorts because I did a whole sort of you know, rundown on how I did the brakes, but they still squeal. They still squeal, but this thing's got amazing stopping power. So here she is, looking all clean, looking all ready to go. Let's uh, let's fire up and uh, go for a nice rip on the city streets of downtown Toronto. AMG on the side sill. Black with yellow, yellow stitching, got my sunroof. The, there's nothing better than the steering wheel. The steering wheel is absolutely insane. I'm so obsessed with it. Let's get her started. Here we go. All right, a couple quick switches over to Sport Plus. We'll just let her fire up quickly. That obviously gets turned off. Put on the brake, turn it off. Put on the brake, turn it off. Yeah. Let's listen to the growl. Sounds sick. That's why I bought this car. That is incredible. There's my daily. Dynamic select. Get some engine data going on. All right, we're off. Race mode. All right. Driving out of my underground here. You can see that the values are pretty blue still. We'll have to get a little bit of heat into the tires before we can really hoon on it, but it's a nice cool uh, morning. Nice quiet morning. Great day for a drive. Great day for a drive. This thing's got such a good sound. Let me give you a little, little taste as we're coming through. So that. Yeah, baby. This is really why I bought this, the one with the big V8, not the, you know, not the 43, not the, you know, not even the new one with the hybrid system. It's just, it's just not an AMG. It's not a, it's not a German muscle flex, like type car this thing you know this thing doesn't have to beat you in a zero to 60 it cruises by you and it's got such a beautiful deep growl with all the luxury it's just it's it's such an encompassing car it gives you kind of gives you just about everything for the price point right for you know what this car costs so finally getting to the to the edge of my underground and um I'm very grateful that the rain has held out. It's calling for 80% rain for just an hour this morning, but now is the time. If you wanna go for a good ride, now is the time to go for a little rib. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna circle around 
We're gonna take the DVP all the way up. Show you a nice view of downtown Toronto. Oh, we got a train coming by there. You can see the streets are really quiet. Nice view of downtown Toronto. Hear those squeaky, squeaky AMG brakes that I just did. We're gonna do a nice, nice ride to downtown Toronto. We're gonna rip it up a little bit and then we're gonna go for a coffee around. We're gonna finish this vlog at, uh, at Starbucks. So as you can see, I'm still not where I need to be. I probably shouldn't be into race mode right now. I should probably, eh, it's just switched over, which is cool. It's showing brakes, even though I just did the brakes um, just a couple days ago, I wasn't able to reset the sensor. So if anyone knows how to reset the sensors on these things, you know, I'm supposed to bring in a Mercedes Benz in a couple days uh, for an oil change and stuff like that. I'm hoping that they'll do it at that point. But until then, I don't really know how to reset the values. So it's still showing that, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but, uh, no biggie, no biggie. So this is my area, this is Casa Loma. As we hear, as we screech to a stop. Um, yeah, this is Casa Loma. This is called the Annex, downtown Toronto. Nice quiet morning here. We're gonna jump on a really famous road called the Don Valley Parkway that takes us. It's one of the rare, the problem with Toronto is that it's so congested and there are not a lot of big streets that go in and out of the city. And so the Don Valley Parkway is the one that runs north, south to take you in, to take you out. So it gets very congested during work hours, but it's a gorgeous windy road, goes up a big hill uh, and then obviously comes down the hill and shows you the whole city skyline. So it's a, it's a really, really cool ride. Um, so I'm gonna take you on that one. So we've got, not necessarily heat into the tires, but we've got our values at white now. So we can definitely start to, uh, to bring the revs up a little bit. And you can hear, hear our big V8 growling slightly. I gotta make sure that I'm in the right area here. I, it's my own neighborhood and I'm forgetting where I am. So is he. He's gonna take a, he's taking a lap. And you hear that this, here, what is the hell? Okay, never mind. He just totally put up, pulled a fast one on me. This guy's taking a left from the right lane, which is very, very interesting to me. Um, anyways. Really cool feature I like about this car is when you're in traffic all the time and you're sitting here like this, having your foot on the brake is such a pain in the ass. So if you just give it one big pump, you'll see it says hold there. And then it just literally, I can take my feet off. I can just chill a little bit. And actually that doesn't seem like a big thing, but God, when you're always in the car and you're always at a stoplight, which in Toronto you always are, it's actually a real big, real nice perk. All right, so famous Avenue Road here. Really popular road, we can get into it a little bit. Oh, a few little pops there for you. And we're gonna jump left on Davenport over to Rosedale Valley and then up to Don Valley Parkway. Can you hear this, the squeal? The squeal just, ah, I can't stand it, it's such a pain. A couple people doing some nice workouts here in the morning. Beautiful reflection of the bands. And I probably look like an idiot with this with this headset on. I also got a chesty. I'm using a new GoPro 11 Black, actually. I'm really, really pumped about it. I ordered a chesty as well, so we'll test that out. Right now, we're just using the headset. Kind of looking like a goofball with my headset on. Uh, but hey, just trying to bring that content to you. So I'll shift it over in a little bit to um, to manual mode in a second, but right now I'm just kind of just cruising, trying to get a little bit of heat in the tires, listening to that nice sound. Come off the rever reverberate off the uh, off the buildings. And again, this car when you're sit when you're in the city and there's traffic, it's just kind of it's it's not fun. It's not it's not as I shouldn't say it's not fun. It's I mean, this car is so amazing, but it's not as fun as if 
you know there's there's a free path in front of you and you can you can really drive it listen to that if anybody in the comments again any other owners have some tips on less squeal i don't know if there's something you can put on your brake pads or something to, to give you less squeal but i can't stand that sound it's such a pain in the butt so we're approaching young street this runs north south one of the biggest streets in north america we're in a really really posh section of your of young street right there's called the uh, summer hill rosedale area really gorgeous houses all tucked behind there we're just gonna go in to a place called rosedale valley behind here which is our way to get onto the uh to the highway the dawn valley parkway we can really rip it up but really nice sort of lush uh scenic views here in toronto when i get up here again we'll throw it we're on race mode but we'll throw it into manual and we'll give it a give her a little something pretty nice driving roads the the road the rain is, is held out and it's nice and cool just wish this van would uh get out of my way so i could give her a little some kind of a pain in the butt this street is really as you'll see there is really really renowned for um for joggers and bikers and stuff like that it's really really nice uh, sort of path all the way up you'll notice really really cool cool spot here it's called rosedale valley you get a few people like you know hibernating and stuff in here tent city and stuff not the greatest i don't think the city really likes that but it's just a nice kind of sheltered sort of spot a lot of i don't know if you can see that but on the other side as well there are a lot of tents and stuff a lot of construction in the city all the time all the time they're always working they're always trying to improve things hear that nice deep growl of the of the v8 i think what we'll do now is we'll put her in a manual bang again everything happens on my steering wheel which is the beauty of this car i'm sitting in the fifth gear let's go fourth third give her a little sum here flex that big v8 give her one more gear down She's got some pops. She's got some pops and she's got some bang. Ah. So my intention with this, this thing's still stock. I, I'm dying to tune the car. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have the car just cause it's not a winter driver. It's only a summer driver. Um, but I've been in talks with some uh, tuning companies and I really wanna get it uh, get it tuned. Now once, one simple stage one tune and this thing's looking at 630, 650 horsepower. So. It's already an amazing car, but I, I wanna see what it's kind of capable of. So, you know, sky's the limit, right? It's real easy. So if you look over here, that's the Don Valley Bridge right there. That's kind of where we're heading. But I'm getting this weird smell from all this, uh, all this weeds and all this grass over here. Oh God, in the morning. Uh, but so again, some really nice bike roads through here, some really, really cool areas. So this will be an area where we can really sort of open her up and, uh, and get into it a little bit tire pressures looks good uh, everything's still kind of heating up a little bit but it's looking pretty good so there's normally a cop in and around here so we just got to be reasonably careful oh i need to sh i need to shift when she's telling me to shift that's another really cool feature i love about this thing is the digital dashboard is i feel like i'm in a freaking race car i look down and it's it, it literally flickers red it it blinks for you to to shift which is so so cool man it's such a cool feature this car like does absolutely everything you look around you got luxury nice leathers carbon fiber one of the best steering wheels i've ever seen in my life you know again for the price point where else do you see a steering wheel like like this this is f1 right where you can your modes are here suspension exhaust so here's the on-ramp to the Don Valley Parkway. Let me just adjust, make sure that I'm giving my viewers the viewing pleasure they, they need. And let's get, uh, let's get into her, here we go. Come around this corner hard, downshift. Yeehaw. There's a nice 
nice underpass here. Really nice underpass where I'm hoping these cars are not gonna go in front of me. Good. She's got some nice gargles, even for a facelift. She's, she sounds, she's got some nice, nice deep gargles. Let's downshift. Underpass, best part of the day, boys. Gripping nicely. Again, I, I keep traction control to about a five. It's got a nine stage traction control. I don't I don't mess with it too much because I don't want to kill myself. I'm not a professional driver. But this thing grips. Got a little bit of rain coming in, but this thing grips. Got a little CLA 45 behind us. This is the Don Valley Parkway. We'll take it for a couple couple intersections and then we'll uh for a couple cutoffs. Sorry, it's a little bit loud. Take it for a couple um you know we'll drive it for like five minutes and then we'll turn around and circle back. So this this area is normally packed with people going in, going out of the city. We're going out of the city right now. We're gonna go to about, we're gonna go two, two um, interchanges, two off ramps, but you can see nice bridges along here, really lush area. On the way back, you'll be able to see the whole city center coming back. But listen to the sound of that, that twin turbo V8. It's just so good, such a good sound. This thing absolutely goes. For stock, it's 503, 516 torque, and it absolutely just hauls ass. Hauls. Let's get another, let's get another underpass blast. Ready? Ah. Everyone trying to keep up behind me. I know I can. Downshift. Downshift. But you gotta be so careful when you're driving these cars, you know, you get one cop out here. I'm cruising at one, this is Canada, we're in Canada, it's, the speed limit here is 90. I'm cruising at like 115, 120. And, uh, you know, I push it right now, let's push it a little bit. There's 130, there's 140, like in the blink of an eye. So you just gotta really, really be careful with these with these things. You really get it going quickly. So winding, winding around here. Again, this thing, this thing handles like a dream. For the size and just sort of weight of it, for the size and weight of the car, it handles really, really well. Um, it is a little bit stiff, but um, hey, it's a sports car, right? Sports car, what do you expect? So here's my cutoff. We're gonna jump off and then circle around, circle back. Eglinton Avenue, a couple downshifts again. Listen to that beautiful AMG engine. Hand-built, four-liter twin-turbo V8, baby. Let's go. We're certainly not waiting behind this guy. Let's just say that. Thank you for the double turning lane. I don't know what it is. RAV4s. They like, I had a RAV4 yesterday. I was going to a car meet and I had a RAV4 with a bunch of his buddies behind me and they were keeping up. They were hauling, trying so hard to keep up with me. Took everything in his power, but he kept up for sure. Back on. This is where we're gonna get some really cool, um, you know, visuals of the Toronto city center. It's a pretty amazing city, really amazing city. Clean, you know, fairly big, lots going on, lots of food, lots of activities. Been here about a year, been back home about a year, and it's been good. So let's get after it. No cops, no cops, no cops. Only thing I would like about this car, you know, personally, if I had to really reach for something, is a few more cracks and bangs and burbles. You know, you don't, I'm trying to open up the window just to give you a little bit of sound. You get, 
you get burbles, but not quite, you know, not the same as the pre-face lift. Like, pre-face pre lift is just barking and gargling. Oh, we got our heads up display there telling us all our engine data here, all carbon fiber. It's a cool place to be, yeah, it's a cool place. So coming around, a little bit of a foggy day. Normally you'd be able to see the CN Tower right there, and that nice big tower. You can see it a little bit. But um, normally on a, on a clear day, you'd be able to see it, no problem. Just getting into her a little bit. Little. So when I find when I really accelerate, and then I let off and start pressing, it starts to bark a little bit. It goes pop, pop. We'll just try that. On it, let off, and then try and just just slight slight presses there a little bit. This guy just chilling at me in my. Uh... Look at this. So this is the problem. This is the 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 problem that I have with with traffic, right? little cars blocking your way so we got a little bit of a little bit of rain coming down but it's not the end of the world there's the Don Valley Bridge again but look at how beautiful this street is look at how lush that area is it's been a number of suicides for people jumping off this bridge but over the years but uh, hey we ain't jumping today we're living life well in this V8 enjoying that twin turbo let's go Damn, she pulls. She just keeps on pulling and pulling and pulling. There's a little bit more of the city there for you. We got a little Mustang up here, a little five liter. I wonder if he wants to play. The game I call, I wonder, I'd wonder if he wants to play the game I call, leave you in my dust. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. I mean, he's probably, most of these five liter Mustang guys, cause you know, they're pretty reasonably placed to get a five liter They're You know, they've tuned them all up and they sound amazing, those cars. So does this, but they, you can really do quite a bit with these, uh, with these, these five liters, they really sound good, so. Circling around, coming back, getting stuck in a little bit of traffic here, dying of some caffeine. I need my caffeine fix. We're off to Starbucks. We're headed to Starbucks. So this has been my first sort of POV vlog. You know, just a nice little drive in the in the AMG. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment, guys. Uh, you know, what do you? What else do you want to see? You want me? You want to see me go looking for other cars to race? You want me to try and take this thing to the track and somewhere in Toronto? Um, you want me to do more POVs? You let me know. Ooh, that thing's crackling. Ah, oh, take that turn hard. Oh god, she's a, she's mean. This car is just just an angry, angry car, which is why I love it so much. Coming around, it says 40 here. I know there's a cop always chilling right here, so I'm gonna downshift. Bring my speed. The car, white, the car behind me. I don't know if you can see it. He's smart. He's slowed way down because he knows cops like to chill here. Oh, can you hear that snap? It's the other thing. Listen, I know that I'm being hard on the engine right now, but watch how it makes me upshift. Check this out. Boom! Oh, such an amazing car. So amazing. I'm obsessed. Let's check out this way. We'll go straight here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog. You know, I'll do, I'd like to do a few more of these things. And, uh, you know, now that I got a little bit more gear here, I got this headset here. Um, and just, you know, just catalog a little bit more of my experience with the car in, in Toronto. Because this thing's like, if you can get the right roads and stuff like that, it's pretty phenomenal. I downloaded this app called Roads yesterday. I think it's it's uh, by Porsche. It's for the Porsche people. Hello, just going for a little jog this morning. 
Um, it's uh, it was designed by Porsche. I think it's meant for Porsche drivers, right? Because they're the you know the purists. Um, but it shows you it curates different um, you know different uh, drives, different little sort of driving routes. Um, you know, in your area that you can go and take, and it's super, super cool. So, I'm gonna take the car straight through here and uh, through these nice little roads here. Uh, this is the Bayview sort of extension, nice little cool area up here. It's only 50, and hoping there's no cops, but there's some nice, nice little windies here, and then, uh, then I'll end the vlog. Why don't we start it? Why don't we, why don't we get after it with a nice hard pull at, uh, at the light here? You ready? Two hands on the wheel. Race mode, let's go. Oh, there's a lot of spin there. Oh shit, scaring the hell out of that guy. Sorry, sorry buddy. <laughs> he moved over, he was so scared. God, this thing's super fast. They say zero to 60 in three, seven, three, eight. Um, you know, I think with good tires and stuff like that, you could probably get that maybe a little bit better. My tires are fairly new, so I'm getting pretty good start start times, but with or pretty good acceleration times. But with this brake indicator here, it won't let me do my race start, which is a huge bummer. Um, once I tune it, I want to see. I want to see it. I think it's actually going to slow down the zero to sixty because it's it's making so much power. I don't think it's all you know power to the rear wheels. I don't think I'm gonna, it's it's just gonna give me more wheel spin. I think on the top end, that's where I'm gonna start to see the like, you know, the the real number starting to come up, but not on the low end. But uh, stay tuned, hit subscribe. If you're, you know, if you're enjoying these videos, uh, let me take this off. Stay tuned, hit subscribe guys if you're enjoying these videos, you know, and if you wanna see this car tuned, if you wanna see all the other cool stuff I got going on, uh, hope you'll subscribe, hope you, you know, you drop me a like, drop me a, you know, comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. You know, are you a, you know, AMG guy, is this your style? You know, what kind of mods are you into? Uh, you know, I'm super, super curious to know what's going on, uh, you know, with all the, the real car guys. You know, I am, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get into it, trying to, Trying to experience a little bit more. Went to a cool car meet last night. Um, uploaded a couple of shorts and stuff of like that. But yeah, definitely want to hear back from what you guys think. Um, let me know, right? Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Downtown city streets of Toronto. It's nice and quiet. And um, now we're on the hunt for a little Starbucks. We finally made it to the Starbucks. Let's get in there. Let's get in there and get our coffee. Can I get a um, venti uh, pipe slice, please? Just black? Uh, anything else? That's it, thank you. It's going to be uh, 362. Okay. We are good. Coffee in hand. Smash that door shut. All right, well, we came to get a coffee. We were successful with that. There it is. I'm gonna end this video here with taking a nice big sip. Uh, this has been a coffee and a cruise uh, POV to Starbucks in an AMG. All right, see you guys in the next video. Oh, God damn, that's hot. <sighs>